July the 9th, 2019. As you're looking at images that are current from the National Hurricane Center, and the system that we've been watching, which is named 90, Invest 92L, has now slipped out into the water over Appalachia Bay. See where the red X is on the inlay in the bottom left? So now it has nothing to do but strengthen. Now, all that's the center of the uh, low pressure. You still have parts of it on land, but as it moves further out, there's nothing going to be nothing there to restrict it. We don't have a lot of wind shear. We have extremely warm ocean temperatures, and that's what these storms feed off of. Notice that most of this storm activity that's starting to actually feel the low pressure system is moving in over the New Orleans area and south of there, and that could be a um, an indicator of where the storm will track. Now, looking at it on the infrared, the redder the image, the higher the clouds, the more uh, intense these storms will become. Now again, this one moving over the Louisiana area, now it's just way away from the low pressure area, but it's an indicator of how everything in the uh, Gulf itself is changing. We're going into that season. Now some reports or we, like I said before, they're talking about 7, 10 inches in some places, but some localized reports in uh, Louisiana guys are a foot or more, some are even two foot from some of the comments that I'm hearing from that area. Now, looking at the wide Atlantic, a couple things here. You can see how the uh, Saharan dust storm has an opening in it. Now, what I'm saying is if you look in this area right there, that's where the dust is now here and it seems more intense of the caribbean but that's where the sun is beaming down and there's an opening there and we've been watching this uh, little low pressure system that's come off of africa too don't know what it will do we don't know what the dust will do we, we do know that the high pressure over the area is going to move slightly north and leave an opening we're getting into that time of the year but remember the peak of the worst hurricanes the worst tropical storms it's September the 10th, so we're still away from that point, but it's a steady graph up to that point, and then it starts tapering back off. Now, th remember, this is a two-day forecast, not the five-day, and it's giving it a 70% chance of development. The five-day still says 80, but uh, now it's, again, offshore. It's got its feet in the water, and that's all this thing is going to need, guys. National Weather Service is again saying that a broad low pressure area has emerged over Apalachee Bay in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. Environmental conditions are expected to be conducive for tropical cyclone formation and development over the next several days, and a tropical depression is likely to form by late Wednesday, which is tomorrow, or Thursday while the system moves westward across the northern Gulf of Mexico. Air Force Reserve Unit Reconnaissance Aircraft is scheduled to investigate the low on Wednesday if necessary. The disturbance has the potential to produce heavy rainfall from Upper Texas back to the Panhandle. Now this is a wave watch model, guys. That tells you wind direction and wave heights. That's all it does. And that indicates the storm turning back up into uh, Louisiana before it gets over towards the Texas coast. This is just one of the models. Some of them still have it uh, affecting Texas, but only the model that you see that is uh, the TCON model that's in the orange, and it actually comes ashore and weakens oh, just south of uh, Punch Lake Pontchartrain there in the New Orleans area. You've got two models that actually cross almost exactly where we are in Mississippi, the uh, purple line and the white line and then the abno model and that green goes up uh, through Louisiana It has not been updated though and notice that that the tip of the green line is still on shore So we have not received the 2 p.m. Updates as you notice in the bottom right corner get it and we're going to watch for strengthening Now notice uh, today on the earthquake map 1706 aftershocks most of them here on the Naval Air Station at Channel Lake. And remember, it's supposedly down to uh, just necessary personnel only. They uh, haven't heard any reports on any testing or anything like that going on. That's a good thing. 
But to solo wind, guys, it's continued to increase. We're seeing 491 kilometers now on the uh, average. And so you're well uh, you're right in that above that 100 million mile per hour mark. That is a lot of pressure on the Earth's shields, and that's what you're looking at. And guys, uh, you're looking at China Lake. This is before the quake started. Just some of the testing that they do. And you notice that that uh, missile went underground. And you're in a fault area. Just doesn't make much sense, does it? And maybe they will re-look uh, into that uh, procedure. But guys, I want to I mention our sponsor, my Patriot Supply. They've always given us the best prices just about anywhere. And now they're throwing in the stand, guys. It was always an option. So at $1.99, which is without the stand, guys, is two cents a gallon. Think about that. 5,000 gallons for the filter that comes with it. If at a dollar a gallon for water, that's five grand. And you can replace the filters or add more. But uh, come and click there, guys. Check it out. If you don't already have one, this is definitely the time of the year to get them because power outages knock out water systems. It happened to us for two weeks. No power and no water after Katrina. I've talked about it for uh, years now. And guys, if you've never been through that, you don't want to go through that. It's very difficult. Anyway, check it out, guys. It's a great price, number one uh, on the market. Best filtration rates. If you go there, click on it, there's tons of information on everything that it takes out of the water. And uh, there's nothing that compares to it. None of the, of the other manufacturers have this type of filtration. None of them give you that much filtration for that cost either. If you look at all the comparisons, you can see for yourself. But guys, when you do this, you support our channel. You know we're not monetized from YouTube. It hasn't happened since last year when they took the big channel down. No matter, we're still here. And it's because we have... People like you, we have the products that will save your family's life in a situation, whether it's a hurricane, an earthquake, whatever it is, tornadoes that knock the power out, have water and have backup food. All of this is on sale on our site. You support your family. You support this channel. Guys, we appreciate it. It helps us have the time to keep doing the reports that we do. It's a heads up, guys. Watch this weather in the Gulf of Mexico. Be safe.